What's up guys? We're at the 2021 Bassmaster Classic here at the Nico Baits booth. Looking at some pretty cool, awesome, innovative baits that are out on the market right now. Some that I'm really excited for, especially in my area with all the smallmouth and stuff that we have. These baits are absolutely going to catch them. So, what exactly makes these baits different than your regular, you know, run-of-the-mill worm or crawfish lure? Okay. Let's... So the first thing about Nico is the material. Uh, it's the most unique material of plastic in the world. Nico is the only company that can do this type of plastic. Um, so Nico actually makes some salt baits for a few very, very famous companies because Nico is the only one. So the baits, I guess, what most people, you know, get impressed about the baits most is the stretchability. So they, they stretch and stretch. Um, the amazing durability on these baits, many of the baits will often last hundreds of fishes, you know, hundreds of catch, catches per, per bait. Everything here floats. Um, so we got floating baits, super stretchy, super durable. They're also scented, so the scent is built in. And so, you know, the scent will dissipate over time. So you just give them a stretch and it recharges the scent a little bit. Sometimes you can't see it, but it, or it's not, but it's there. These baits are completely 100% toxin free. There is, there are no environmental hormones. You can burn these, even the, the smoke is not really toxic. You could eat them, don't eat them though, but don't do that. But, but there's no toxins in here. The, uh, they, they, they are swallow safe for wildlife as well. So when the animals ingest them, these baits will not swell up or harden. They will remain soft, so animals can disgorge them or pass them. Um, or if they're stuck in there, like a fish, they will they will not inhibit the movement of a fish. So the fish can escape predators or catch prey. And uh, if they're floating out on the ocean, these will be broken down by UV, and they will disappear over time. So there's and the other good, I guess, performance is these baits just collapse in the mouth. So you can you can use these baits in so many different ways. You never you almost never have the bait getting in the way of a hookup. And so, because they float, I personally have used almost everything here, top water, and I'm just amazed that it's, you know, when you get it in there, that bait is on all different shapes. Sometimes the hook goes through it, the line goes through it, and you're still getting your hookups. This bait will not interfere with those hookups. Great collapsibility in the mouth. Um, but the other thing is just fantastic designs. Yeah, they, they really are. One of the, and the, I want to point, I want to really, emphasize this he was talking about how sometimes if a fish you know swallows a lure it can hinder how the fish moves and whatnot for me i've caught plenty of fish that kind of have this weird looking arch in it like they're shaped funny and if you look through them you can look in their mouth or even sometimes on the back end you'll see a line or a hook hanging out and i think that you know that is that's horrible it hinders them from moving it literally makes their body shape different. I've seen it time and time again. I've seen it in actual tanks before. One of my friends had a fish in a tank that had a hook in it yeah. and he was oddly shaping but whenever he took it out you know it, it yeah. finally fixed itself. Yeah. But, yeah another thing is those plastics leach hormones into the fish and so it will actually prevent the fish well we believe it'll probably prevent them from reproducing because uh, you know the, those hormones just mess up the reproductive systems. You got you got a lot of different things going on here. You've got innovation, creativity, same same general concept, but you're also helping out with conservation and that sort of thing. That is like extremely extremely key. You mentioned smallmouth, so yeah, most most people know Nico from the Hilgramite. This is what put us on the map. This is what we're known for. Same same sort of thing. Uh, we've got this leech, a little 3.9 inch leech here. Um, so these are amazing baits, work every bit as good as the Helgramite. These can be used on drop shot, Texas rig. They also we have a profile so we can use them on Ned rigs as well. That's right up my alley. I like, I like a good Ned rig with a small mouth or anything, but small mouth on a Ned rig? Well, speaking of Ned rigs. Let's look at it. Here's our version it. of it right there. That's sweet, dude. Yeah, that's a, again, it's a kind of a high quality production in Japan. Again, the very soft baits. Um, this is a core shot model. So, this is this is one of the coolest things about this. I just noticed this. So it's got kind of a flat head. If you guys fish with a Ned rig, you know those little mushroom heads and whatnot. You really want them to be compact and all there. 
no gap, that kind of thing. You just want it to be a good looking presentation. And a lot of other brands out there don't have that flatness that makes it look like just one well, big bottom dweller. Well, that is, well look at the, con it's actually concave there. It sure is. It, it's actually depressed, right there. Yeah. So that is so, and this is the attention to detail that we do at Nico. So you can snug these up on the jig heads a little bit better. Um, some people like to glue them. Uh, I personally don't, but um, if you do, I mean, it's, it, this is just gives that extra little bit of presentation that you that you can do. And uh, so these these are uh, really really nice because we have this in the bass worms too. And many of our customers were taking our bass worms and cutting them in half for mid rigs. And uh, because this this head here is so effective, um, it's a little thicker profile than what you would expect on other you know nib rig type baits, um, but it's a very effective bait. And here at the uh, show, we're really pushing our, you know, these are kind of our two newer signature baits. Um, the one would be this craw, these craws. So, yeah, these craws right here. The, the craws are, have a super stretch. You can stretch these, these claws here. They will not come off very easily. Um, at least, at least two, at least twice as strong as anything out there. Probably three, four times stronger than most claws. They save you a ton of money. They're not going to be torn off easily. And the other thing is, this, this crawl has a, has a unique profile, very realistic of a very threatened, vulnerable crawl, ready to take off. And it's kind of hard to see here, but these these claws are a, have a much wider stance than other claws on the market. Most people are straight, and that's to save money in molds. This is the real deal. And um, the attention to detail, the same thing with the antenna, also at angle. Um, just a lot of detail that goes into these these, claw, these crawls here. Go, go ahead, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm over uh, So the other, the other bait here at the show, we're really pushing, this is our window. These are the most amazing swim bait that has ever been created. So in addition to being super stretchy, you will not have your tail snipped off. You will save a ton of money. Um, the other innovative thing about these, uh, these swim baits are these little zigzag ridges. And they actually transition. We have a whole series of frequencies of you know, the vibrations that go through the water. So whatever the fish are hitting, you're gonna be sure to hit on one of these frequencies. Um, That's innovation. That is cool. That is, yeah. nobody's doing that. Yeah. I the, like that. No, so the, the other thing we did was, um, we put, it's very difficult to see, we have a kind of a triangular profile. It's kind of it provides a little bit of a keel for the swimming ability. So this bay has three motions. So of course it has the paddle tail. It has a snaking movement. At the same time it has a roll. So it's got three movements all at the same time. And uh, it's got this profile to do that. And to help you rig these straight and true, we, have, uh, we do have various markers on the bay to help you rig it so you, so you do have this perfectly smooth. And lastly, the head was designed to fit a lot of the common heads that you, will, that you would be using. So you snip this head off and put, put another one on, it's gonna fit a, a large variety of heads pretty snugly. And uh, but yeah, so th these are really, really fascinating baits. Amazingly effective and already at the show here, these are a big hit. And, uh, these, these will, if you fish this style of bait, this will, this will change your game. It really will. So from, for me, that's a big deal. Especially, I know a lot of the people that watch, uh, specifically my videos, live around the Kentucky Lake area. And if you know anything about that in the wintertime, a swim bait just like that on a good old Alabama rig, that's how you cash checks, catch fish in the wintertime on Kentucky Lake. That's just like one of the best places. And pretty much any of the TVA lakes, they're all really good at it. Even some of the lakes down here, like we're fishing in Texas. Recently, during the wintertime, there was some absolute magnums caught on an A-rig with swim baits. Swim baits catch fish. I mean, everybody knows about that. So, and all the ingenuity that actually went into this, this design, the thought process, everything about it, that is insane. Like, it's smart, it's conservative, it's genius. Like, yeah, it's, this and the last. I mean, again, if you fish this style of bait, this will take you to another level. Yeah. Um, they're they're currently only available in 3.75 uh, inches. Um, part of the reason is that this bait with these zigzags is actually 
physically impossible to make with traditional molds. So uh, Nico had to actually go to a variety of high-tech industries in order to get a mold made, and uh, you know we still had to compromise a little bit to get it done. But uh, you know we'll have we'll have we'll be having some more later on. Cool. And uh, just one little thing, and again, just kind of unique bait. A lot of people don't think about it, would be a tadpole. Um, these little guys, 2.9 inches long. These little guys at 2.9 inches long. I mean, they have amazing, as you can imagine, amazing tail action. The, the, uh, they just float, and we have one in the tank here. And you mean, float, and just the tail goes up and down like that. A lot of people drop shot them. Um, I personally Texas rig them uh, right through the tail. I put the hook right through this little tail. The material is so resilient that it will still take the hook. And uh, you're still going to get 20, 30 fish on them before it breaks. Um, if you don't rip the tail, you'll probably get 100. You know? um, amazing bait. Um, and some, there's a few big names in the business that are actually using these. Um, so it's uh, mostly drop shot is what they're doing with them. I can think of quite a few instances where that would be an awesome bait. The well, interesting thing is we went through probably about 100 species of crawls studying their claws and uh, to design to come up with this this claw design so if you notice most claws on the market are designed for the southern market and that makes uh, sense. these are not these are special <laughs> and oh one more little unique thing these little dimples and uh, you can see them here yeah. yeah these little dimples on the bait are actually unique to each craw this is not the same craw i mean within the number of molds that we have so every every cavity in that mold is a special, is special and unique. So it's just another thing that when you lose a fish or you get broken off, you can go back on. And even though these baits look the same to you and me, the fish will notice. They they do detect these little minute things. And uh, so you'll be, you know, you may not catch the same fish, but you're more likely to catch that same fish quicker than you would before. So, so just more innovation here. That's absolutely. The, you guys got to understand the thought process that goes into this, the ingenuity. Like these are all minute things that actually make a difference that nobody else out here is doing. That's, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's, um, a lot of people don't realize how difficult it is to make a, a, a solid date. I mean, something that really performs. And uh, here at Nico, I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident that if you use Nico, we often say. If you know Nico, you know. <laughs> if you use these baits, you'll know. Um, you know there's a reason why um, we're growing so fast and, and with, with very little footprint in the market. I mean, a lot of this is word of mouth and we're just expanding like crazy. Um, so, and th these baits will really change your, they'll make you a better fisherman. Absolutely, I 1000% agree. This is, this is quality, this is like, Nobody, I've said it already, nobody is doing this. Like, this is yeah. the so, craziest thing. So, they're not easy to find in stores. Some stores have them. Um, if, if, if you guys have a tackle shop that you think should carry Nico, contact us through the website. Let the store know. Um, you know, we're at nico-fishing.com. There's a contact button there. Um, there's an online store button. You can go and see the baits. But, you know, give them a try. And I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy them. I'll have a, a link in the description where you guys can go check everything out. I'll be sure to hook you guys up with that so you can see it for yourself. This is this is just it's crazy. You you gotta see it for yourself. I, I highly encourage it. You need to give it a try. I'm really a big fan of these right here, especially if you do a lot of the fishing like I I do in some of my videos and the things that I do. This right here, that right there is a combo to have. Just 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 one little quick thing. That craw, we were, Nico is the first company in the world to have glow flakes. So this model here, you put it, uh, you charge it on a light or a UV light, it actually has a little bit of glow flakes in there. And uh, so that also appeals to the fish at a certain level. Um, so that's, we're the first uh, one to do that. So where can we find you at besides the website? Is there any social media? Sure. On, on Facebook, just look up Nico Fishing Baits and then you'll find us. And on Instagram, just look up uh, Nico, it's underscore baits. It's a little bit different, but almost the same. But you can find us there as well. 
I want to thank you for your time. This has been pretty cool. I learned a lot. I hope that you guys learned a lot too. Maybe you should go check out or you will go check out some of these baits. I highly encourage it. A lot of people highly encourage it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you right here next time.